There it is. I knew he'd do it. Yeah, I like to embarrass myself. Welcome to Pure Octane Garage, where we bring you detailing information and other automotive goodness. <laughs> you got it, Ryan. Good job. When we can. When we right? can. Right? That's right. <laughs> um, but today, we're going to ask that you please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share with your friends. Check out the merch in the link below. I almost forgot. Very good. And then today, we're also going to talk about this. Yes. Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused Flex Wax. And yeah. I know. Whoa. I know. And you've typed that title before in our videos because we've talked about this before. That's right. And it right. takes all the characters they allow. Almost. Right? <laughs> YouTube's like, that's your title's almost too long. Yep. <laughs> that's it. Um, but anyways. Okay, so we've... You, and like we mentioned, we've used this product, so check out the videos. Yeah, we've, um, we've, we've done an unboxing and uh, an initial use of the product and... A comparison. We did a comparison. With and, 303, right? Yep. No, and, I should say what 303? The Nano Graphene Spray. Correct. Because there's other stuff. From and we tortured both of them right yep. together there on the, on the uh, same panel. So we're bringing that panel back that still has half 303 Graphene Nano Spray and half Turtle Wax uh, Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused Flex Wax. So now it's, they're, they're, they're pretty worn down, but there's yeah. still product there. It's still there. So you were telling me based on one of our Excellent comment viewers. from a yeah. viewer, yes. Said, hey, next up, top them with, top that panel with the Hybrid Flex Wax. I'm like, hey, great idea. We're both like, that's a great idea Thank because, you. you know, imagine you apply a good protection to your vehicle and over it's time, worn down, exactly right? yeah. from washes and from rain and all the other stuff. Not probably as worn down as what we did. No, but there's still product it's there. It's still there. We didn't strip it all away. Nope, it's still there, definitely, because it's so, still beaded a little bit and it's still sheeted water quickly. It's not holding, holding on there. Exactly. So we're going to use this to bring it back, rejuvenate the coating yep. that's there, right? And we've noticed on the, I mean, we didn't notice on the bottle itself in the in the uh, directions of the flex wax. It talks about three different application methods. Mm -hmm. And we use the first one. We use it as base coat. Because we were creating that base method. coat, so yeah. it's the dry method. Yep. So now, why not to use a maintenance method, basic method? Try to say that. Maintenance method. Maintenance method. <laughs> we're going to use the um, rinse version. Yep. What do, what do they call it? Uh, so what are, we, what, are, what are we going to be doing? Wash your vehicle, right? You, yeah, it says, let the water do the work. Okay, okay. <laughs> While wet, after washing and rinsing, so you've washed and rinsed. Okay. Technically, yep. in our, we're going to rinse, wash, rinse, because that's how we do it. Yeah. Right? Um, then, <laughs> not that that matters for this application, yeah, but, but you know, yeah, we do. We're here to help. Uh, so we're going to rinse, wash, rinse. You apply two sprays per panel. Okay. For you, seven. Um, um, you know, I'm going to go with eight. Eight, okay. <laughs> Starting at the roof, which this doesn't apply, but we'll give you the directions for your vehicle. Starting at the roof, use a strong stream of water to spread and rinse the wax. Towel dry all treated surfaces. Use a damp microfiber cloth to remove any streaking or residue. That's kind of a given now we know. But, yeah. So I'm curious, to me that means you're gonna keep this on you while after you've rinsed. Spray your roof, rinse, Yeah. then move on to the next panel. Is that how you take it? Or would you spray the whole car and then rinse? Um, I can, un you know what, I can go both ways on that, but I, I in my mind, I was going to spray the whole car. Yeah, that's kind of, it seems easier. I mean, don't do this in the sun, of yeah, course. Yeah, in the shade. In I the think shade. If you're in the shade, I think that would be fine. Yes. And then, uh, and uh, if anybody's done it, but anybody's you, done this. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, what do you guys think? Yeah. 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 Um, actually, I might want to do a panel, a panel at a time. At a time. I, yeah, I know. I'm kind of a toss-up, but yeah. it doesn't really point that I out. I really want to know. Um, our viewers' thoughts on yeah. that. Yeah, if you've used it, let us know how you used it if you were successful or unsuccessful with it. I mean, today we're just using it's our test panel, hood, so, so yeah. really, is two sprays per... I, I, I want to use more. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Turtle Wax, I know that's not what your, it your direction is It depends on the panel, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> um, but you know what? Also, before we go out there, um, I just want to kind of touch on how uh, what this provides. It provides protection... Mm -hmm. and um, gloss and slickness and beading and hydrophobic properties. I just wanted to remind right. our, our viewers who have seen our videos, but also for the viewers who are Maybe first, haven't seen, this vid first seen one of our videos. Right. And this, so basically it's a very, very 
um, hopped up spray wax. I yeah. Mean, there's a lot going on with it. Um, now remember in this lineup, they do have the um, to the max liquid wax. Right. Now if you do want to use that, that's first. Because that's actually stronger than this. Yeah, you it's want to give you, you more durability. You want your and that's your strongest base. Your base you layer to be the strongest. This. Correct. But this can be used on its own. It's you know it's, yep. spray, it's a wax. It's a spray yeah. wax. So and and as as we noticed from our torture test, um, it's extremely durable. It holds up well. It really does. All right, let's go. All right. uh, let's go top. I mean, it's dusty. We gotta yeah. wash it yet, or rinse and wash. It. Um, but it still feels pretty slick. Yeah, and there's slickness definitely. Yeah, so this is a good time, but a little grabby. I hear it, a little it, bit it's grabby. definitely grabby. Oh, so yeah. be good to put a little maintenance wash on it. So hey, real quick, we're gonna give our what's our expectations, Ryan? What do you think? I'm I'm mine are that we'll see uh, speeds come back. That, yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> that's, Does that make any sense? Yeah, the expectation is we get the hydrophobicity, those nice brown tight beads, come back after the uh, maintenance stoppers put off. That's that's what I'm expecting and hoping for. So let's rinse it. Over here, but look, no. Oh my gosh, beads are back. Hey, what? <laughs> okay, we're, we're laughing because I'm laughing because I'm impressed. Yeah, and we don't normally use products that way, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I tight beads, but they're a good bead, yeah, in my opinion. They're not what you would see after you just installed your ceramic coating, a true coating, or even the spray ceramics. And then we go on. Okay, I, I'm impressed. So, because I've never used, we've never, you and I have never used a No. Wash and wash, rinse, and then spray on and rinse again. No, I, I've always done the dry method. Yeah, there's definitely that good slickness back to that. Hey, turtle wax. Turtle wax is still holding up like we expect. So that's yeah, so. I, I, I love that. Spray and rinse and you got dry it off and more protection. And other automotive goodness. Well, other automotive goodness. It's hard work doing these videos. It is. It takes um, a lot of thought. Huh? And that hurts. <laughs> oh, my brain. <laughs> All right. Now we're on.